Joe Hughes never thought he'd be here, inside of a clinic on the face of Mount Everest, suffering from high-altitude pulmonary edema, with his new fiance and unborn child waiting for him to come home. The call stopped, and I was trying not to think the worst. There's only one person who can save him, Dr. Luann Freer, and from her makeshift Everest ER, she's about to give a master class in medical improvisation, all documented by a film crew. What was his condition when he finally did arrive? He was gravely ill. He was blue. He was gasping to breathe. You could hear the bubbling in his chest without a stethoscope because blood is literally leaking in. Cooling the, in his own lungs. In your lungs, yeah. And you can eventually drown. Right. People drown in their own blood, and, and it's the most common cause of death at high altitude. Now Dr. Freer is scrambling to figure out what to do, and the situation is becoming more dire by the moment. Moro 2. Was that? Moro 2. He was the closest to death I've ever seen of somebody with high altitude pulmonary edema. What's the normal treatment for it? High flow oxygen will help reverse the process. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, uh, in, in austere settings, you don't have unlimited oxygen. What kind of medications did you give him? We gave him everything I could think of <laughs> that would decrease the blood pressure in the lungs. Her skills pushed to limits even Dr. Sean Murphy would find daunting. Were you just making it up as you were going? A little bit. At that point, I felt like we got to throw everything at this guy. He's going to die. The answer, a little blue pill that's come to many a man's assistance. We used Viagra. Viagra? Yeah. Viagra was first developed as a medication to decrease blood pressure in the lungs. Oh, really? And then it's more lucrative. <laughs> Side benefit became known. In this situation, Joe needs a pill every six hours. Did it work? It did. Somebody might ask, you, why did you have Viagra on Mount Everest? We had it specifically for that because we knew we had limited supplies of oxygen. But there was still the matter of Joe's severe dehydration. He urgently needs IV fluids. <coughs> And in the zero degree spring temperatures of Everest that night, that's a tall order, especially when the tent's power generator briefly goes down. How did you keep the IV liquids from freezing? That's been something that took me a couple of years to figure out. This is the fluid. We've just warmed it up mm -hmm. in a pan of hot water, and it's nice and warm. Mm -hmm. But the problem is it's going to freeze in this tubing. Yeah. And we want to minimize the, the heat loss. So what we improvise is putting it through the sleeve of a friend. Oh, so then the tubing runs along their body. Right. Everybody's wearing down jackets, and why not use all this body heat that's trapped in the right. down jackets? The IV had worked, but Joe wasn't out of danger yet. I turned around to his expedition leader, and I said, start working on a helicopter. He needs to go to somebody who treats pulmonary edema. As night turns to day, Joe desperately needs to get to a hospital. But a helicopter rescue at that altitude is impossible. The air is too thin. So Sherpas must improvise as well. On Dr. Freer's request, they take turns carrying Joe 5,000 feet down the mountain, where he can be safely flown to the nearest hospital before returning to Liz. I've told Luann many times I'd be raising my daughter alone if it wasn't for her. His life had been spared that night on the deadly mountain by the heroics of a savvy, quick-thinking wilderness doctor, unafraid to think out of the box. What she was able to do and what she was able to come up with is not part of medical training. That's instinct. That's on par with the ability to you know, rescue a soldier. Nine months later, the Hughes family had a chance to express its appreciation. You named your daughter after yes, the woman who absolutely. saved your life. Absolutely. Tara Luann is now a spirited 12-year-old. She's grown up immersed in the folklore of her parents' journey to Mount Everest, hoping one day to have the chance to embrace her namesake. I think I'm going to be lost for words because it's going to be my first time seeing the woman who saved my dad's life and who told my mom that she was pregnant with me. And last week, we brought everyone together. We have a little something that we want to show you. This is your name. Oh, wait, what? Hi. Oh, my. <laughs> oh, wow. 
Oh, I'm so surprised. Come here, you. Thank you. I love you, I love you, dog. Wow. Yep, yep. This is my little family. <laughs> Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.